Ranch Taos has been in the news lately. And this is not about aliens or UFOs, but demons. Yeah, you heard that right. Demons. These are not those high-ranking demons like Paimon or Mamun, but lesser demons that are much like the Mafia's contract killers. But, they don't have any power over humans, but they can manipulate other things. But, the question is, is there a demon lurking at Taos Ranch? Or are there demons? How do we know they are there and what does it mean? This eerie, isolated farm in Taos has gained infamy for its unsettling stillness and a series of strange, unexplainable phenomena. A local woman, tormented by bizarre occurrences and the profound grief of her husband's tragic death, believes that something far darker may be at play. Could these sinister forces be tied to the chilling legends surrounding the ranch? Let's unveil the truth hidden in the shadows of Taos, while confronting the enigma of the mysterious hum. Curious about Taos? Nestled in northern New Mexico, at the edge of the mysterious San Luis Valley, this small town has become a hot spot for strange and inexplicable events. From UFO sightings to eerie disappearances, the region is steeped in tales that blur the line between reality and the paranormal. There's also a fascinating connection between Taos and the legendary Skinwalker Ranch, another location known for its supernatural occurrences. At the center of this story is a woman who has encountered bizarre and unsettling phenomena at her ranch. She's felt strange energies that not only weighed on her emotionally, but even caused physical discomfort. Flickering lights, Sudden cold drafts and unexplainable noises were just the beginning. She believes there is a malevolent presence in the farmhouse she shared with her husband, who tragically died there under mysterious circumstances. What began as small disturbances soon escalated into something far darker, leading her to fear she's dealing with a harmful spirit, or perhaps something even more dangerous. Adding to the mystery is the infamous Taos hum, a low, almost imperceptible sound that has intrigued scientists, skeptics, and spiritualists alike. The source of this hum remains a riddle, baffling researchers for decades. Some claim it's linked to the area's unique geography, while others believe it has paranormal origins, similar to sounds reported at Skinwalker Ranch. The hum resonates not just in Taos, but in various locations around the world, fueling theories about hidden frequencies or even extraterrestrial signals. Our investigation brought us to the ranch, where the woman, a well-respected figure in her community, had chosen to remain anonymous. Until now, she had never publicly discussed the events plaguing her property. What she described went beyond mere hauntings. Shadowy figures lurking in the corners, strange symbols appearing in the dust, and even unnerving dreams that seemed to predict future events. This is the first time her experiences are being revealed, and it opens the door to a deeper mystery. As we continue to investigate, we're left wondering, what dark forces are really at work in Taos? Could there be a connection between the eerie hum and the sinister presence haunting the ranch? And just how deep does the link to Skinwalker Ranch truly go? These questions will drive us forward as we expose what's hiding in the shadows of Taos. Our main focus centered on the ranch, particularly the old ranch house, which seemed to be the epicenter of all the strange phenomena the owner had experienced. Later, Paul sat down with the owner, Melinda, who was finally ready to open up about the bizarre and terrifying events she had been dealing with for years. Grateful for the chance to share her story, Melinda began recounting her life at the ranch with her late husband. The first shocking event occurred not long after she moved in with him in 2005, an abduction experience. What made it even more unnerving was that it happened just days after her arrival. In disbelief, Paul asked Melinda to clarify what she meant by abduction. Her description was chilling. Every time something strange occurred, an intense, blinding white light would engulf the ranch, and a soft, barely perceptible buzzing sound would fill the air. It was as though the very atmosphere thickened, making the air feel heavier and charged with tension. The next morning, they would wake up feeling utterly drained, as if they had endured a night of physical exertion. Their bodies ached and their minds were clouded with confusion, as though they'd run a marathon in their sleep. As these unsettling events continued, Melinda and her husband grew convinced they were being abducted and examined aboard a spacecraft. The eerie lights, strange sounds, and unexplained physical symptoms all pointed to something beyond their understanding. What was even more unnerving was that they weren't alone in their experiences. 
Similar stories of abductions and strange occurrences were widely shared by locals in the Taos area, a region already known for its history of UFO sightings and paranormal activity. This period of Melinda's life, marked by bizarre abductions, coincided with the broader sense of mystery surrounding the ranch. While it might sound unbelievable, it was part of the fabric of local lore. As our investigation delved deeper, we realized that these accounts, no matter how otherworldly, weren't isolated incidents. The ranch had a long history of strange happenings, and Melinda's story was just one more piece of the puzzle. What exactly was happening at the ranch, and how did it connect to the larger patterns of high strangeness that permeated the region? We were determined to find out. The couple had always felt something deeply unusual about their ranch, suspecting it to be either a gateway to unexplained phenomena or a hotspot for mysterious energies. There was a persistent feeling of unease that hung in the air, as if the land itself was charged with something dark and unknowable. The decision to leave, however, came after a devastating series of losses that broke their spirit. It began with the death of their beloved dog, followed by the passing of their horse. The heartache turned to tragedy when Melinda's husband died unexpectedly. But the sorrow didn't end there. Another dog and her cat died soon after. When she buried the last dog, an overwhelming sense of dread consumed her. She frantically called her son, begging for his help to leave the ranch, convinced that staying there any longer would endanger her life. The past clings to the ranch like a shadow, a place once full of life now consumed by grief and loss. The ranch, which had been their home, had transformed into a desolate reminder of all they had lost, becoming unbearable to stay. But Melinda couldn't help but wonder why such tragedy had befallen them. What was it about the ranch that seemed to swallow up everything she loved? As we step deeper into its story, we begin to ask the same question. Is there something more at work here? Perhaps even something malevolent? The land itself seems tainted by a dark force, some would say it's the work of lethal creatures tied to the strange occurrences. Others are quick to point to the possibility of a demon lurking in the shadows, drawing power from the destructive energies that plague the ranch. Is there truly something sinister behind the series of misfortunes? Or is the ranch simply a place where natural and supernatural forces collide? These questions hang in the air, casting a long shadow over our investigation, as we uncover more of what haunts this mysterious land. Acknowledgement of these ideas often follows a predictable pattern. When presented with such claims, many dismiss them as too fantastical, too outlandish to be real. A skeptic might naturally demand explanations for such beliefs. Yet the response to this skepticism is often simple and direct. Those sharing their experiences show little concern for disbelief, stating plainly that they have no interest in changing anyone's mind. People will form their own opinions as they always do, regardless of evidence or persuasion. Questions arise about why now is the time for these revelations. The identity of the individual sharing these details is kept hidden for their safety, yet the urgency to speak out remains a puzzle. They claim to grasp the situation in everyday terms, but there's a growing desire to understand the scientific foundation behind the strange phenomena occurring on the ranch. Their motivations for stepping forward seem to stem from a need for answers answers they haven't been able to find. As we delve deeper into the unfolding mystery, Chris offers Andy a revealing tour of the house, a structure steeped in unsettling energy and eerie experiences. Shortly after, Paul joins them, preparing to conduct a groundbreaking experiment at the precise location where frequent otherworldly events have been reported. There's speculation that the house may even be connected to a mysterious gateway. The trio, joined by local investigator Steve Priola, begins their examination right outside a particularly significant window, where many of the strange phenomena have been observed. This house, according to its current owners, is believed to harbor a harmful spirit, a malevolent force strong enough to be described as demonic. The house is thought to be the epicenter of the ranch's dark energy, raising the possibility that it sits on or near a portal, which might explain the unexplainable events. The group comes prepared with a plan for the evening, aiming to provoke changes in the environment that could expose whatever forces are at work. Drawing from methods Paul and the speaker have tested in other investigations, particularly at places like Skinwalker Ranch, the team will use a mix of technology and intuition to probe the mysteries of the house. Specialized tools designed to detect anomalies, 
combined with techniques refined through their past experiences, will play a central role in their efforts. As the night unfolds, the hope is that they will uncover more about the dark energies that pervade the ranch and possibly reveal whether a portal to the unknown truly exists within its walls. As the narrative unfolds, the team begins to consider the little-known but deeply intriguing Taos hum, linking it to the broader mystery surrounding the ranch. This eerie low-frequency sound has long perplexed scientists and locals alike, and now it seems to tie into the strange phenomena being investigated. This raises numerous questions about the nature of such phenomena and whether there are undiscovered elements influencing the environment. The group's exploration goes beyond scientific tools. They immerse themselves in the historical and anecdotal evidence surrounding the ranch, hoping to unravel the complex web of facts and folklore that blankets this mysterious, unsettling setting. In the local area, the peculiar hum has been a source of both fascination and concern for quite some time, with reports of the sound surging recently. New accounts seem to emerge almost daily, adding to the growing list of strange events. Earlier in the day, another report surfaced from an individual familiar with these occurrences. They claimed the hum resonated at approximately 55 hertz, a frequency now ingrained in the ongoing investigation. To confirm this, a recording at 55 hertz was played back to the individual, who immediately recognized it as the same sound they had experienced. This validation prompted the team to integrate the 55 hertz sound into their evening experiment, hoping it might unlock further clues about the mysteries at play. By playing the sound at key locations on the ranch, they aimed to provoke a reaction or disturbance that could shed more light on these puzzling phenomena. The use of this specific frequency is part of a broader effort to understand, and perhaps even address, the causes behind these frequent and unsettling events. Armed with new tools and insights, the team is set for another night of exploration, delving deep into the unknown. Their goal is to pierce through the layers of mystery surrounding the ranch, with the hope that tonight's experiment will reveal hidden truths about the hum, the strange energies, and the possible gateway lurking beneath the surface. As the investigation continues, our team prepares for a critical experiment aimed at uncovering the mysteries surrounding the strange occurrences at the ranch. Alongside the infamous 55 hertz sound, we've equipped ourselves with thermal cameras to detect any fluctuations in temperature and a specialized device capable of picking up unusual radio waves, particularly those around 1.6 GHz, a frequency commonly used for communication between Earth and space. The monitoring equipment is live, and we begin by checking the baseline conditions. So far the readings show only minor radio interference across the expected range, but now it's time to activate the 55 Hz sound. As the low, eerie hum fills the air, something immediately changes. Paul, do you see this? Take a closer look, one of the team members exclaims, pointing to the readouts. Just look at this. Notice the changes. The thermal cameras and radio wave monitors both pick up subtle but significant shifts in the environment. Energy levels begin to fluctuate in patterns that weren't present before the sound was introduced. The most fascinating part? These energy changes are occurring specifically within the 1.6 GHz band an area of the spectrum often associated with space communication. It's almost as though something is responding to the sound, interacting with the frequency in ways that defy conventional understanding. But things don't stop there. As the sound reverberates through the ranch, further anomalies emerge on the thermal imaging. Temperatures fluctuate in pockets around the property, almost as if invisible entities are moving through the area. It's as though we've activated something, perhaps triggering hidden forces or long-dormant energies lying just beneath the surface of the land. Pete Kelsey, an expert in using advanced drone and LiDAR technology for mapping tricky locations, is simultaneously working to uncover strange occurrences at another mysterious location, Skinwalker Ranch. His skill with these high-tech tools proves invaluable as we try to make sense of what's happening here. Today, his focus is on Miller Ranch, particularly the bridge, and a triangular zone on the property that bears an eerie resemblance to the famed locations at Skinwalker Ranch. Could this triangular area be another hotspot for unexplained phenomena? As we probe deeper into the mysteries of Miller Ranch, the evidence is piling up, pointing to a connection between the 55 hertz sound, the energy shifts, 
and perhaps even the space-related frequencies at play. Tonight, the team feels closer than ever to uncovering the truth, but with every answer comes a new question. What is this sound really unlocking, and what might we discover as we continue to push the boundaries of this investigation? This particular spot is central to our investigation, renowned for its peculiar magnetic and radio frequency disturbances. In the past, these anomalies have been linked to sightings of unidentified flying objects, deepening the enigma surrounding the area. The strange phenomena here bear an uncanny resemblance to those reported in the Triangle area at Skinwalker Ranch, suggesting a possible connection between the two sites that demands further exploration. For today's mission, Pete Kelsey, an expert in advanced mapping technology, will pilot a photogrammetry drone over the bridge at Miller Ranch. This specialized drone, which Pete previously used during a 2021 investigation at Skinwalker Ranch, captures detailed aerial photographs. These images are then meticulously stitched together to create an intricate 3D model of the area, offering insights beyond what the naked eye can detect. The drone will follow a preset path, covering the entire zone, and capturing thousands of high-resolution images from multiple angles. By compiling these images, the team can carefully analyze the site for any clues that might explain the strange phenomena. The 3D model will reveal any hidden or subtle features in the landscape that could offer a new perspective on the mysterious events plaguing the ranch. This high-definition survey is more than just an aerial overview. It provides a deeper look into areas that may be hiding vital information. The team is particularly focused on locations Travis believes might conceal portals or other key features contributing to the ongoing disturbances. By combining cutting-edge technology with ground-based observations, the team hopes to illuminate the unknown and bring clarity to the strange magnetic and radio anomalies that continue to baffle them. This exploration is not just about capturing visible anomalies, it's about understanding the unseen forces that may be shaping the mysterious environment of Miller Ranch. As we compile the images and data, the secrets of the ranch slowly start to unravel, promising new discoveries and deeper insights into this perplexing location. With everything set, the team began the experiment. A spectrum analyzer was activated to monitor radio frequencies during the drone flight test. With a particular focus on the 1.6 GHz range, the frequency often associated with space communications. Initial checks confirmed that the equipment was functioning properly, detecting the usual background noise. Interestingly, Miller Ranch appeared to have a relatively typical environment for radio energy, which made any potential disruption all the more intriguing. Once the equipment was in place, the flight path was meticulously planned, and the drone took off with precision. Its mission? To detect any disruptions or anomalies in the radio spectrum, especially as it neared key hotspots like the bridge. This area was of particular interest due to prior reports of strange phenomena, making it a prime target for the investigation. As the drone ascended, the air was thick with anticipation. The team knew they were on the verge of a potential breakthrough. Inside the control room, the tension was palpable, as the drone's data feed was monitored in real time. At first, everything seemed stable. The 1.6 to 1.8 GHz frequency range remained quiet, with no immediate spikes or anomalies. Yet, as the drone approached the bridge, the atmosphere in the room grew more intense. This was the moment that could provide crucial evidence of the unseen forces at work. The spectrum analyzers remained fixed on the radio frequencies, tracking every movement of the drone. All eyes were on the monitors, awaiting any sudden change in the readings that could signal a disruption or interaction with something beyond the ordinary. This was a pivotal moment testing not only the technical setup, but the very theories guiding the experiment. As the drone reached its target over the bridge, something unexpected happened. The radio frequencies began to show subtle fluctuations, unusual spikes that caught the attention of the team. Could these anomalies be evidence of an external force, perhaps a hidden portal, or the strange magnetic disturbances that had been rumored for years? Whatever it was, the findings suggested that the ranch held far more than met the eye. This unexpected discovery at the bridge signaled that the mysteries of Miller Ranch were only deepening, and the team's work was far from over. When the drone flew directly over the bridge, the equipment registered a noticeable spike, a significant deviation from the typical readings at 1.695 GHz. 
This unexpected result warranted further investigation to determine its implications. To add to the intrigue, when the drone traversed the same spot again, similar spikes were observed, confirming that something unusual was taking place and adding layers of complexity to the analysis. The repeated spikes triggered extensive discussions and theories among the team. What could be causing this specific change in the radio spectrum at that exact location? The findings hinted at a direct correlation between the drone's path and the energy fluctuations, suggesting an intriguing interaction between the drone and the environment surrounding the bridge. This unexpected discovery prompted the team to delve deeper into the data, meticulously analyzing the spikes and searching for patterns or explanations. Each anomaly was carefully examined in relation to various flight parameters and environmental conditions, aiming to unravel the mystery of what was causing these disruptions. The implications of these findings were significant, shedding light on how drones might interact with their surroundings in ways previously unrecognized. This research opened up a new realm of questions and possibilities for further exploration, highlighting the complexities involved in managing radio frequencies and the potential for unforeseen interactions in seemingly unrelated systems. As the experiment concluded, the focus shifted to reviewing all the collected data. The observed anomalies led to a re-evaluation of initial assumptions and sparked plans for additional experiments to test the new hypotheses that emerged from this rich data set. However, this was far from the end. Each answer prompted new questions, gradually revealing the intricate web of technological interactions at play in our modern world. In a remote area, the team continued its crucial survey using advanced photogrammetry techniques from the drone, aiming to capture detailed digital images of the bridge. The ultimate goal was to create a comprehensive three-dimensional map that could serve as a foundational resource for understanding the site better. This digital representation would not only document the physical attributes of the bridge, but also act as a key reference for future investigations into the ongoing mysteries surrounding Miller Ranch and its enigmatic energies. As the drone buzzed overhead, its sensors meticulously collected visible spectrum data, a standard procedure designed to reveal the intricacies of the landscape below. However, as the initial data began to compile, the researchers noticed irregularities that piqued their interest. An unexpected spike appeared in the data, indicating that something unusual was happening at the bridge. This phenomenon, though brief and manifesting as mere flickers in the otherwise steady stream of information, was enough to stir curiosity among the team. Determined to uncover the cause, they dove into the gathered data. It quickly became evident that these findings were anything but ordinary. The data not only encompassed the visible surface, but seemed to penetrate underground, revealing images and details beneath the bridge that typically eluded the capabilities of their equipment. This was perplexing, as their setup included only a standard RGB camera and a LiDAR sensor, neither of which should have been able to detect subterranean anomalies. Faced with these surprising results, the team was eager to test the limits of their gear. The team promptly double-checked their equipment, ensuring everything was functioning correctly. Yet, despite their thoroughness, the data continued to exhibit unexpected depth, creating a three-dimensional view that included layers below the surface. This was particularly strange because the photogrammetry was designed to capture only what was visible to the eye. Yet here it was, displaying hidden layers of soil, infrastructure, and possibly even remnants of past activities that were previously obscured. As they sifted through the data, the researchers began to formulate theories about what could be causing these anomalies. Could there be structures or features beneath the bridge that had gone unnoticed? Were these underground layers revealing evidence of previous human activity, or perhaps something more enigmatic? The implications of these findings were vast, hinting at the possibility of undiscovered elements lurking beneath the surface of the ranch. Intrigued by the potential for new discoveries, the team planned to further analyze the data looking for patterns or correlations that could explain these unexpected underground visuals. They also discussed the possibility of conducting follow-up experiments using different equipment that might provide clearer insights into the subterranean layers, potentially unlocking the secrets hidden below Miller Ranch. This exploration promised to delve deeper into the complexities of the landscape, adding another layer to the already rich tapestry of mysteries surrounding the site. They expanded the area of investigation, eager to determine whether this anomaly was isolated to the bridge or if similar patterns would emerge elsewhere. 
As the drone continued its flight, covering more ground, the data consistently revealed more than they had anticipated. The researchers speculated about possible malfunctions or unknown enhancements to their tools, but found no evidence supporting such theories. The anomaly appeared localized primarily over and around the bridge, with a high concentration of unexplained data points hovering directly above and beneath it. As discussions evolved into debates, the team wrestled with rationalizing these findings. Could there be an undisclosed feature of their equipment at play, or was something genuinely unknown hidden beneath the bridge? Further analysis revealed consistent anomalies that defied straightforward explanations. The air above the bridge, typically devoid of obstructions or noteworthy data in similar imaging, now displayed strange points that floated like specters in the digital renderings. This mirroring of data both above and underground at the same location presented a perplexing conundrum for the team. Recalling a previous mission in the East Field, where they had documented similar unexplained phenomena, they began to wonder if there was a connection between the two sites. Perhaps these occurrences weren't merely glitches or errors, but rather indications of a larger, more complex pattern or phenomenon manifesting at these specific locations. Eager to explore this theory, the team began mapping out previous data sets from both sites, searching for correlations in the timing, conditions, and types of anomalies recorded. Each new insight seemed to suggest that the mysteries surrounding Miller Ranch were part of a broader tapestry, intricately woven with threads of the unexplained. As they delved deeper, they couldn't help but feel that they were on the brink of uncovering something significant, something that might connect the dots between these scattered enigmas and illuminate the true nature of the forces at play. The team planned to extend their research eager to determine whether these mysterious findings were mere data anomalies or indications of undiscovered features lurking beneath the surface. Their previous experiences at Skinwalker Ranch had taught them that strange occurrences often had deeper implications. At Skinwalker Ranch, something unusual had been observed with a drone, hinting at the enigmatic phenomena that permeated the area. This drone, equipped with the same camera and software setup as before, was deployed in another location but it only produced peculiar results at Skinwalker Ranch and one other site. The uniqueness of these strange findings raised both curiosity and concern. The odd results were captured using two different sensors, both indicating something unusual happening at these locations. This prompted significant questions. Was there something underground or in the air causing these strange readings? The situation became even more alarming when several deaths were linked to these anomalies, suggesting a potential hidden danger at work. While exploring the area, sightings of unidentified flying objects near a bridge further fueled speculation about possible aerial or underground openings. These encounters led to discussions about local legends concerning animal mutilations, hinting that mysterious forces might be at play. As the team pieced together the threads of these narratives, they began to wonder if the strange phenomena they were witnessing were interconnected, forming a larger puzzle that spanned both locations. With each new discovery, the urgency to investigate deepened. The team was determined to uncover the truth behind these anomalies, not only for their own understanding but also to address the potential risks posed by whatever might be lurking in the shadows, be it a natural phenomenon, a technological glitch, or something far more sinister. The investigation promised to delve deeper into the unknown, illuminating the complexities of these two enigmatic sites and the dark secrets they might hold. A technique called photogrammetry was crucial in these investigations. This method involves capturing a series of images from a single point, calculating angles and positions with a scanning mirror, and then moving to the next point, all while relying on GPS for precise location data. If the GPS data doesn't align with the expected position, it indicates an error in the timing measurement, which is vital for accurate positioning. The technological observations suggested a potential glitch in time. The drone's GPS consistently registered discrepancies between the expected and actual positions at this location, possibly indicating a disturbance in the normal flow of time. Such anomalies could imply that natural or other forces are affecting the area making Skinwalker Ranch a compelling hotspot for further scientific exploration. Could these discrepancies hint at actual time disturbances? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing updates.